joining us on the guest line now, my buddy, Major Johnny Polos. Major, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing great, Dave, doing great. Glad to hear it. And, uh, you know, normally we talk about how traffic is going to pick up for a holiday weekend, but in the south part of the state, traffic is just about maxed out in some spots already, isn't it? Oh, you're absolutely correct. This is going to be a different holiday period uh, for all law enforcement across the state this weekend just due to the Hurricane Ida recovery efforts. Well, exactly. And we have, as I have been saying all morning, We've got company in Mississippi because there are Louisiana tags everywhere as our friends from from down to the south are coming up here for gas or for lodging or for food or just to find some place with the air conditioning on for a while. And as a result, we, we've kind of had holiday traffic ever since Tuesday, I would say. That's correct. And we need the motoring public to be mindful of these conditions that we are experiencing on the major interstate uh, thoroughfares that's coming into Louisiana, out of Mississippi, out of Louisiana, into Mississippi. Uh, it's been very, very busy for the Mississippi Highway Patrol and all law enforcement agencies uh, just trying to deal with, th- with this amount of traffic. Well, and that's why I was going to say normally I would get into a discussion with you about when the enforcement period begins and how many people are going to be on the roads. But we've been in holiday enforcement. Where are the roadblocks? Yeah, where are the roadblocks? But he never tells us, Perez. Have you I know. That? Yeah, never shares that information. But uh, th- this week we- we've been in holiday conditions for a couple of days now. Uh, I wouldn't expect – do you expect the-, the traffic to increase over the weekend? Well, we, we're, we're, we see a constant flow of evacuees uh, that are coming back, trying to get back to their homes in Louisiana. And, and to keep in mind, we're still experiencing everyday traffic uh, with, with, you know, all the, uh, the trucking industry trying to get supplies from point A to point B, uh, the public going to their jobs, trying to make it back home. So if you factor all of that in, with with everything we have going on, it is very, very busy, and we're going to need the support uh, from the motoring public more than ever. Well, and that applies primarily both uh, to the coast and to southwest Mississippi earlier this week, and this is the kind of thing we're talking about uh, when we talk about unusual circumstances and situations. There was one point, I think it was Wednesday this week, they actually closed down the exit ramps off I-55 at Macomb on two of the Macomb exits because there were too many people on the street in Macomb and the line was for gas was backing up onto the interstate, so they had to close it down. So you have to be even more aware of what is going on than usual because some things that you may have never heard of happening before may be happening. Uh, that's correct, and we're, we're, we're asking Again, everyone to stay in touch with social media, uh, with the Mississippi Highway Patrol, Mississippi Department of Public Safety, uh, MDOT, uh, to get current traffic updates so we can alleviate some of this traffic and to clarify some of the things about the exits being shut off. What we were experiencing is, uh, as you know, a lot of uh, gas stations were out of fuel. And so we had a lot of, of, of traffic getting off on these exits, trying to find gas stations. And so we had a build, a massive buildup of, of traffic. So there was an effort in place. There are still current efforts in place to correct that and just to help navigate people to the exits that do have fuel. Well, and the other thing to remember is, while a lot of the folks from Louisiana that are up here are old hands at this, this is not their first trip, not the first rodeo, we have some that it is their first rodeo for this. And as a result, we have a lot of people on the road that aren't familiar with the roads and don't know where they're going and may be indecisive and a bit slow making a turn or getting off the exit or changing their mind at the last second. So we have to be even more conscious of what we're doing while we're driving, I think, than normal. Absolutely. And we also have to be mindful of, of driving in a safe manner. If, if we experience a number of traffic crashes, keep in mind, first responders are very busy right now, again, with, with the efforts in Louisiana. When we have unnecessary crashes, these first responders have to respond to that. And also keep in mind, we're still dealing with with the the high number of COVID-19 patients that are having to go to the emergency rooms, you know, in hospitals. 
So there's just a lot going on right now that we really need everyone to make conscious decisions when it comes to driving and just make it safely to their destination. It's more important than ever to drive safely. It's always important, but this is special circumstances. We have a holiday week in the middle of uh, the ongoing efforts regarding Hurricane Ida from uh, earlier this week. Uh, so, you know, I almost hate to say, Major, just if at all possible, stay home as much as you can for this weekend. I don't want to say that for a holiday weekend, but at the same time, with the current situation, depending on where you are in the state, Maybe not the worst of ideas. Just stay home and fire up the grill. You're right. And, look, we have to say officially that the Labor Day holiday period, it began today at 12.01 a.m., and it will run through the weekend and conclude Monday at midnight. So we will have all available troopers out there uh, as far as a reminder to the motoring public about just drive in a safe manner. Commissioner Tennell and Colonel Ginn have been working with Louisiana officials to provide assistance and any resources that their state might need. And for us to be able to, to do that and provide that assistance, we, we can't be responding to unnecessary traffic crashes. And we're going to do that because that's what we sign up for. But, again, I cannot emphasize enough how important it will be this weekend for the motoring public to really make good decisions. And if you don't have to get on the interstate systems, highway systems, stay home. You're right. It, it will help out tremendously in trying to help the people in Louisiana recover. And I would just like to say, <clears throat> if you do have to get out, put your phone down. Facebook will be there when you get back. Absolutely. It's not too much to ask, I don't think, because we want to make it an easy job for you guys, because even if we make it as easy as possible, you've still got a rough time going right now, and you've got a lot to deal with. Let's not pile on, literally. Let's not make it worse. And uh, hopefully that will be the case, and this will be a holiday weekend that will just kind of blend into the rest of the year, and we won't really notice much. I, I hope that's the case, Major. You're right. You're right, Dave. You know, people in Mississippi and Louisiana are resilient. We are veterans when it comes to dealing with these types of situations regarding hurricanes, and we will get through it. As we always do, we're good that way, and a lot of that is thanks to the men and women of the Mississippi Highway Patrol doing good work. You have had a lot going on, and I hope it gets real calm and quiet for you about Saturday or Sunday. Well, we appreciate it, Dave, and thank you to Super Talk for